Hey guys, I'm here with Eric and he's the captain for Blackwater Boats. He's the uh, How You're Reeling fishing team and he runs this boat in actual tournaments for the company from Miami all the way down to the Bahamas. So what we wanted to do is actually go through how he fishes this boat since it's their tournament rigged 39 um, and give you a kind of an inside look of how it actually functions during uh, tournament time. Eric, if you don't mind, we'll start from the uh, back of the boat and head on forward. Yeah, so we got two, we got our two wells in the transom. We'll typically put some of our smaller baits in there, goggle eyes, sardines, thread fins. Uh, we went with, you know, the wells on the side here. We like it, it kind of opens up the back with a lot of fishability. We got another well in the floor, which we'll use for our bigger baits. And that's down here, it's around an 80 gallon well. Water flies out, it typically goes in your boots. And this has been a good feature for us. We've been real happy with that. It's yeah, keeping nice, us dry. Nice detail. And it's something we like. Uh, we've got the big Yeti cooler we like here. A couple of the guys sit back here, watch the lines when we're fishing out the back. If we're making long runs, it's a good spot. A couple of the guys like to sit there. And we really like you know this area over here. Typically, we'll put our pliers and a lot of the stuff we'll get to right there, some de-hookers. And then you know the, the drawers okay. back here. I like to put our rigs in there, put them in Ziplocs, get everything organized. We've got two different drawers to go into as needed. We get all our stuff and we'll okay. keep a lot of our terminal tackle. We, um, we'll put up in the side there. we got compartment in there. Tackle box area on both sides. Tackle box on both sides, hold four, you know, four boxes. Normal boats, you see a pull out cooler and it's much smaller than this. So just so they have an idea of the size, like a 160 more or less. I think it's a 160, I yeah, believe. Yeah, it's a massive console, massive cooler, tons of space in this back setup here. So. Let's work our way up forward. Yeah, so, um, you know, when we're running in events, we're up in the front, I'm running, working with the electronics. I have a couple guys here, maybe one or two guys here can sit nice, comfortable, sit back. Uh, a couple of the guys like to sit in the back too on that Yeti cooler. It's a right. really nice spot. A couple of guys will sit back there. They'll mm -hmm. sit back there when we're fishing. Got a lot of space up here. Got a couple nice screens. Typically, I'll run my radar on my middle screen. I'll run my depth finder on my charts gives me a you know, good view, plus the guys that are back there can kind of see what we're at as far as depth when we're doing stuff, right. and kind of have an idea if they need to adjust the downriggers. A lot of the features on the boat have worked real well for us. Uh, I see they have the control panel actually up here, all your buttons out of the way, actually right in your field of vision, which is nice compared to ducking them underneath, which you see a lot of companies actually yeah, do. Yeah, I like it, and I like having the stuff up here, make sure no one's you know messing with the live well, touching anything, it's, it's kind of out of the way, nothing gets hit by accident, it's kind of, right. when you're going to this, you're going for a certain yeah. thing keep stuff off the console, keep you know, not as cluttered too, which, which we've liked. So it's been yep. real, makes a lot real of sense nice to keep that. them out of the way like that. Most of our, you know, our day trips, you know, but we'll load it up with all our kite stuff. We'll put helium tanks in there and buckets, everyone's gear. We'll put our lunch, we'll put soft coolers in there. Right. Has a lot of space in there. We've used it a little bit for, you know, in the Bahamas where we're bringing a lot of stuff. You got room to sleep in there, lay down. Uh, we, we don't spend a lot of time in there because we're mostly fishing. Right. But uh, for some people that are want to stay in the boat, it's a huge feature. Yeah. Uh, for them, of course, you have, a, you have a head in here. You have a rain shower. I mean, you have what is this? A microwave on yeah, this corner? Yeah, we have a microwave. We have a shower, so, sink, AC. We got a bathroom. Yeah. Tournament fishing, it's day day trips, but you do have the ability to go to the Bahamas and stay a weekend. Absolutely yeah, no problem. Absolutely. And so two people can sleep in there. You got everything you need. Just yeah, we got a couple fish boxes. We typically use the smaller fish boxes for our everyday fishing. I typically load one up for fish, put a couple hundred pounds of ice in there, put our fish in this, and on the opposite side, uh, same size box, and we'll use that box typically for chum and chunks and stuff like that, keep it all separate. Makes it real easy to get to. You get a fish in the back, you throw it in there, in the front, you can throw it in there. If we're, uh, we got another box up front here. If we're going for some big fish like tunas, when we go to the Bahamas, this is a big box that we'll use for the for tunas. And, uh, oh wow fill it up with a thousand pounds of ice. It's got a lot of space. Typically when I'm fishing my events, I like to use this for storage for my bumpers. It's got a nice little rail that you can stick stuff in there and just stuff to get out of the way. You know, clear deck. When we're out fishing, we can keep the boat clear and, you know, maneuverability. Yeah. Definitely um, no, no shortage of storage space. All the hatchet yeah. finished completely inside, inside and out, very and, uh, well done. I, I, I like this a lot right here too. A lot of the guys, we fly our kite off the front and um, a lot of the guys will keep a little box up here, a little Tupperware with some kite rings, some weights and little things, some hooks, some spare rigs. That way they don't gotta come to the back to get anything. 
They're flying, they're tight, everything's there. It's real, the functionality works real well with that. That's a, that's a big feature yeah. that we like. With this boat, we got, a, we got speed, we got range. We got 740 you know, gallons of usable fuel, and the boat's a fast boat loaded. We were typically running about 69 to 72 miles an hour loaded down tournament load. Wow. Uh, sometimes we're in the mid 70s. You know, it just depends on sea condition and, and what we're doing. And right. this boat gives us a big advantage. You know, being able to run those kind of speeds. No, you can see using a, having a boat like this with this kind of capability gives you a you know great advantage. Yeah. And it's uh, a big advantage. For yep. Us. Well, Eric, thank you very much oh, for your time. You. We wish it. you a lot of luck and. Uh, Keep an eye on how you're reeling this year and this 39 Blackwater as they uh, compete in the tournament circuit once again.